Welcome. Welcome, everyone. The Queen is here. We want to thank the Most High for giving us the opportunity to find one another once more. So, I hope you enjoyed here. And as we get in started, let's take a moment of silence for all of the ones that we are missing here. Good. Now let's get started. Hey there. I hope you're feeling great, wonderful, and exactly where you need to be. And if you're not, consider this a reminder. I know it's the end of the month of the new year. And it's been a while since we have had a chance to talk. But I've created this podcast hoping that we can keep in touch, hoping that we can continue the wonderful conversations that we started. I am Dr. B. I'm going to be here to remind you who you are, who you were, and who you ought to be. I know a lot of times we go through things in life and sometimes that can challenge us to be our best and sometimes we slip up and do not do the best that we can. However, this is going to be a safe place for you to share your information with us. I'm Dr. B. I have been motivating others ever since I knew that I can remember. So I can't really remember. It is my pleasure to always inspire and motivate others. Myself for the last couple of years have been going through a lot of challenges. And eventually I fell into a dark place and had to learn how to reconnect and eventually rescue myself. Hey, we're never done learning. I'm still learning. But there are times we fall into a dark place, a dark hole, and there's no one to rescue us. But I just want to remind you that you can always rescue yourself because there comes a point in life. That's what I had to do. But no worries. As I said, This is a safe place and you're welcome here. And let's get going. You got this. Welcome back. One of the few things I'd like to discuss with you today is a morning routine. What's your morning routine like? When you wake up, do you sit in bed for a while? Or do you pray? You drink water? You go spend some time with the bathroom? When you wake up, what's your morning routine like? Do you wake up because you want to? Or did you wake up because your neighbor woke you up? The dog woke you up? Uh, Bad weather woke you up? A car honking? You know, I don't know your environment or where you live, but what woke you up? Did somebody wake you up or was it your choice at all to wake up? Do you have a a routine of waking up at five o'clock, six, seven o'clock in the morning? Or what's your routine like? Maybe you work overnight. Maybe you don't wake up so early in the morning because you're probably just entering home early in the morning. So tell me a little bit about your morning routine. Because pretty much you can tell how your day is going to go, depending on how you started it. You know, a lot of time people hold on to ideas and habits that are not working. And they wonder why they're not getting where they need to go. However, how would your life be if you change 
just some habits. If you let go of some things, some ideas that are not working, how much better would you be today? Do you think you would have gone back to school by now if you had changed your mind, changed your habits? Perhaps a better job? Perhaps that family that you wanted? That job you wanted? That career you were looking for? What is it about you? What is it about your habits that's causing or that's being like a barrier on your way to achieving your dreams and desires? So why don't we talk about some morning habits? I'm not going to tell you anything that's going to that's gonna stop you from living your life, but it's just some ideas, some just suggestions that may have worked for me or for someone else. And I just want to suggest them to you too. Perhaps you may find some that will work for you, perhaps not, but let's get into it. All right, and we're back. Your sister Quinn is here just to have a little conversation about morning routine. So let's continue. So what I was thinking about is, first, how about saying thank you? How about being grateful when you wake up? You know, find maybe, I would say minimum three or five or seven things that you're grateful for. For example, you can be grateful for your health, um, for your wealth, for your family, for your friends, for having access. You know, when you go to the doctor, when you have a car, when you can take a train, the bus, that's having access to things that if you were to be living somewhere else around the world, you may not have had access to all of that. You know, you hear you're living in a good, um, maybe in a better part of the world where you don't have to worry about your safety. That's something to be grateful about. Um, I don't know if you're a fan of listening or watching the news. I know I'm not necessarily a fan, but I'm sure you hear about stories. You know, we all hear about stories, things, events, current events that are happening around the world where people get hurt, people get get shot, their children get hurt. Parents leave children behind that are not even able to care for themselves. So when you're not going through such situation, it is something to be grateful for. You know, you don't have to worry about any virus coming to get you. You know, you don't have to worry about any other things, you know, that are so consuming, you know, things that you don't have control over. I think these are the worst because sometimes, you know, you can have all the money in the world But if you're not able to control what is going on in your life, if you don't have health, wealth merely matters, you know, because what would be the point to have wealth and not to be able to enjoy it, you know? So once you wake up, I would say find things to be grateful for. That's what I do. That's what works for me. Maybe it'll work for you. Maybe some. Maybe you need more. Maybe you do something differently. Feel free to share. And um, say thank you. You know, when you wake up before you get lost in your mind, before anything else comes to mind, before any other type of craziness, before people start calling you on the phone, just take some time for yourself. You know, just like you take a... I don't want to say a moment of silence because that's usually, you know, um, when someone is no longer here, but just take some moment, uh, uh, some time of quietness. How about that? You know, just for yourself, just so you can set the intentions um, for the day, just so you can set the tone of how you want your day to go. Um to make sure that you're not going to allow anything to mess up your day. You know, once you wake up, next thing you know, uh, I don't know, maybe you had a, you feel like you had a bad dreams. 
and you wake up all upset. Maybe most likely if you wake up upset, you slept already upset. And now um, you kicked a piece of furniture. Now you hurt your toe, your toes bleeding, you know, on your way to work. Next thing you know, somebody took your parking spot and now you end up in an argument or almost fighting in a bar. You know, that's why it's important to set the tone when you wake up. Be grateful because I don't think there's any greater prayer or any greater wish, request, any greater thing in the world but being grateful for life, for anything that you have access to, anything that's going on in your life, anything anything that, that you have that others don't have or anything that you have that you enjoy, you know, is a reason to be grateful for it. And sometimes even when you're going through a rough path, just like I was sharing earlier, you know, the last couple of years for me have been a little bit challenging. And it's hard, you know, as, you know, some of of um, my um, clients would say, you know, how can you be grateful when you're going through so much and so on and so forth? But when something happens, it's a lesson as well. You know, it, it's something for you to learn. Maybe that's where your mind was. You know, maybe there's something that you were missing. And sometimes when you go through a rough path, a, 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 a rough time in life, it is, it's a time for you. It's a moment of quietness for you to learn your environment, to learn about your friends, family, whatever it is, and mainly about yourself. So when you wake up, you, 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 you can set the tone, set your intentions, be grateful. And then when you wake up, you know, as I said, you set the intention. You can be excited. You know, when you wake up and you realize, wow, I, I, I'm, I'm up, I'm alive. You know, someone somewhere, some people, some places are not up today or whatever day that you're listening to this. Somebody somewhere did not wake up, but you did. So that's another reason to be grateful for. Therefore, be excited about it. Be glad, especially if you wake up, you're not waking up in pain. You're not waking up in under the bridge, you know, it, 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 it's definitely something to be grateful for. Um, and when you wake up, you know, as you get excited, that means that you're in control of your life. You're in control of your mind the minute that you wake up, you know, take control. Don't let things start bothering you, children or the neighbors or the dog downstairs or upstairs, um, the traffic close to you. Once you wake up, take control. You know, I'm not saying to stress yourself out, but when you wake up, it's like, wow, thank God, thank you, or thank you, universe, or thank you, nature, whatever, however you say it, you know, just be grateful. Be grateful that you're up, and now here we go, another uh, to me, every day is another chance to do that thing you didn't get to do yesterday. It's a new day. So start anew. Whatever you didn't get to do yesterday, you get to do it today. So that's a wonderful thing. So I don't want to just throw everything at you, but let's just keep talking about it. Let's go. So let's take a quick pause and we'll be right back. Hello guys, here we are. I'm back with you. So we were talking about the morning habits. Um, some other things I was thinking about are not really that challenging. They are just, I call them simple habits. Um, it could be that when you wake up, I have a habit of making my bed. I don't like when I'm up and about and my bed is not done. You know, it's it's not a good feeling to me. I don't care even if I'm just like um, 
running to go get my tea i like to just stretch out my bed make sure like you know make sure it's not too messy because it's just it's it's the place that i like to rest it's the place that you know I, I spend a little bit more time than i ever did before unfortunately due to medical reasons so i like it to be you know proper to be clean to be free to have space and you know so i can feel comfortable so um so when you wake up maybe not right away i'm not saying to be ocd about it you know to to the minute you wake up before you even run to the bathroom to pee and you try to do it. no that's not what i mean what i mean is try to create your own path try to create your own way to see what works for you um maybe when you wake up meditation could be the first thing that you want to do maybe drinking water could be the the, the first thing that you want to do i'm just throwing just about a few things out there and then eventually you can pick out whatever works for you i have a friend of mine i mean she when she's awake it's like brushing the brushing her teeth um jump in the shower and like food and sometimes it's like food when she brushes it's like straight to the kitchen she gotta eat she gotta eat something and I have another friend of mine who's the same. It's like he cannot, like, once he's up, it's like food, <laughs> you know. But um, but for some people, it's different. Maybe um, you want to drink warm water when you wake up because you don't want to drink cold water. You just wake up and cold water is not very good for um, our health anyway. But I'm not even going to get into that. You can look it up. It's always good to drink a little bit of warm water when you wake up, tea, whatever, something warm. And um, maybe when you wake up in the morning, breathing could be something that could work for you. I know that's also part of my routine, you know. Um, When you wake up, it's like you want to, like, take your time. You want to start taking that control that I was talking about. Um, in case if you perhaps had a bad dream or something, or if you wake up and you're not feeling too well. So that's one thing you could do when you wake up. You just <sighs> take a deep breath. And you could do that three times, seven times, whatever number that works for you. I, I like those numbers, three, seven, you know, there are meanings for them. But you could find your own, you know, that works for you. Um. Another thing too, I like to stretch. When I wake up, I like certain things um, like yoga, stretch, exercising. I like these kind of things when I wake up in the morning. Um, Maybe they will work for you, maybe not. Uh, What else? I mean, there are so many things. And I also like to journal um, in the morning and at night. Sometimes um, before I used to like to do it like, um, yeah, like I said, morning and night, but there are days that I find myself doing it strictly in the morning or doing it strictly at night, but that depends also on my schedule. Sometimes I have a lot of appointments, um, on a regular basis. So by the time I run through everything, sometimes I have early morning appointments that kind of interfere with that. But, um, but I do read, I do my mantras, I do, you know, my affirmations. Um, and I like to listen to something positive in the morning as well. Um, it doesn't have to be anything for like four hours or anything. Sometimes I'm just in the mood for 15 minutes. Sometimes I may be in the mood for five minutes, you know, so this is why every time as I'm talking through this um, podcast, I try to um, make it five, 10 minutes, you know, so if you want to take a break in between to run and grab something to drink, you know, while you're doing it, maybe you're listening to this as you're driving or perhaps while you're just taking a break. So you just need to find out what works for you. You know, but the main thing to me is that you want to make sure you're in control of your mind. 
you make sure you're in control of your mind. Because once you get control of your mind, things come to you a little bit easier. Because then there will be discipline. There will be consistency. And once you acquire this habit, once you you acquire that habit, you know, nothing can break it, you know. You can continue to do what you need to do. You can wake up um, every day and be very consistent about what needs to be done. Um, if, you know, uh, you want to go to the gym or you want to do exercises when you wake up or you want to do yoga, you want to stretch or you want to do whatever it is, you're able to do it without feeling stuck, without feeling concerned, without feeling that you're missing out on something, so on and so forth. And another thing too, when you're trying to build your habits um, to follow through with your dreams, your goals, your desires, and there may be a day that you somewhat miss out. You, I don't want to say messed up, but you messed up, <laughs> you know, it could be a day that you overslept and you almost missed your appointment. So now your routine changed. You can't stretch, you can't pray, you can't read, you can't do your affirmation because now you're in a rush. You, 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 you had a very sweet dream that caused you to oversleep. So now you overslept. Um, so now you're rushing, you're running and, and your routine kind of like, a little bit discombobulated because now your routine perhaps was wake up, fix your bed, stretch, go brush, go shower, get your tea, get your water, and then, you know, um, meditate or yoga or whatever it is. And now the fact that you're running, it's not the same, you know, it's not the same now you miss out. Don't beat on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Just, just let it be, you know, um, again, you're going to have a new day to start over or later on, catch up to whatever it is. It could be one day. Sometimes I have like early appointments that are a little bit far and I may be dependent on someone else to take me or I may have a driver and I may have to leave at certain time. So, I might not be able to do everything that I wanted to do in the morning. So what I would do is um, I could take one of my books with me. You know, um, I have like a prayer book or affirmation books, um, you know, that are like positive. Um, I could take them with me. And what I mean is not only the ones that I write, but I do have something like a journal that I keep with me. So I could take that with me and do my affirmations on the way while they're taking me there. So the point I'm making is that just don't beat yourself up because you just messed up one day. Again, it's still a habit that you're trying to um, get used to. You, you want to be consistent about it. So in order for you to be consistent about it, you got to try to be consistent about it. You know, consistency is not going to come like that. So just make sure that you don't beat yourself up. Just make sure that you're able to be gentle with yourself. You can forgive yourself when something happens. And later on or the next day, just rest assured, just start all over again. Okay. So we're going to continue conversation, our conversation. Um, just hang in there um, and I will be right back. This is your sister, Queen. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I just had to take that little pause. All right. This is your sister, Queen. We are back. So as we were talking about the morning habits, just think about it. Everything is pretty much by design. Just think about it, right? If there's no gas in your car, if your car runs by gas, where can you go if there's no gas in the car? It won't go anywhere. It won't move unless there's gas in it, if that's what it requires to work. 
if you want to watch TV and you don't plug it in the wall, you don't plug it in the outlet, you don't plug it in the electricity, would you be able to watch TV? No, because that's what it requires. So the same goes for your dreams, for your goals, for your morning habits. You know, if when you create morning habits, you're working towards your goals, you're working towards achieving your goals. And again, for you to be able to reach them, you got to be consistent. You got to be able to um, create disciplines that works towards that goal, towards that dream every single day. You got to work at it. It's not going to happen on its own. It's going to happen, but that's up to you to make it happen. You got to be able to dare to think outside the box. You know, perhaps where where you are in the house where you are, people are not people that are consistent. They don't have morning routine. They don't care about positive motivation. They don't care about anything. They just care about living life. And maybe that makes you feel a little bit awkward. That makes you feel shy. You don't want them to know what you're doing and yada, yada. doesn't matter. Dare to be different. Dare to do what you do, regardless how they feel, regardless, you know, what people, because a lot of times when you're doing what you do, people are laughing or they might think you're silly. You know how many ideas that made that made it to our society, that made it, um, to be successful that people were laughing at before, how many books that people rejected that eventually um, made it to the top, you know? And that only happens because those folks, those dreamers, dare to create habits. They dare to have discipline. They dare to continue doing what they're doing. When they had to face failure, they did not want it, but it, when it happened, they did not allow it to stop them. They proceeded to do what they needed to do. When the road that they took did not work, they changed their path. They didn't change. They didn't. They didn't quit their goals. Instead, they changed the path that they were on. Um, because maybe they took the wrong exit. So when things like that happen, you cannot just um. Quit your goals, quit your plans, because the path that you took did not work out. You're just going to have to learn to make a U-turn or find a different way to go about it. So just these simple habits, you know, whatever that I just, um, some of the things I just mentioned earlier on, the simple, the simple habits, whatever it is that you want to create for yourself, they may seem like they're simple, but they could be the reason that you become disciplined. They could be the reason that um, you succeed because consistency um, really make things work. Because a lot of times we miss out on things. It's not because we didn't make it any effort. It's not because we didn't work hard, but because we were not being consistent. While we were studying, while we were doing what we were focusing on, a friend could swing by and then they say, oh, there's a party. And then they, they they convince you to come with them. And next thing you know, you miss out on that book you were writing. You miss out on ideas that you could have caught uh, for that painting, for that drawing, for whatever it is that you do. Because you missed out on your focus. You listen to someone else who didn't understand your dreams. Next thing you know now, you missed out on greater opportunities that you didn't have to. So, again... Take it step by step. There's no rush. Don't again, don't don't beat on yourself. Just take it one day at a time and eventually you're gonna get to where you need to go. So think outside the box, you know. Um when you dream, you you gotta have goals. You cannot be dreaming and you don't have goals, because if you're dreaming without goals, that's mean you don't have any dreams in reality. You know, you can't be dreaming. It's like you, you're saying, oh, wow, I want this car. But what are you doing to get the car? You got to do something to get the car. It's either you're going to save money to get it. I don't know if you um going to have somebody, you could convince someone to buy it for you. Or you're going to play um one of these games um to get some money to do it. Like you got to do something. 
you can't just lay in bed and say, oh, wow, you know, I want food. You're going to have to get up and do something. You're going to have to, if you're going to tell um, someone to bring you some food, if you're going to tell somebody to make you some food, if you're going to say, you know, let me go to the kitchen, if you're going to order some food, you're going to have to do something. So pretty much anything that you got to do in life, you got to do something. If your belly's hurting, you got to go use the bathroom. You can't sit here and say, oh, wow, you know, my belly's hurting. You know, can you go for me? No, it's not going to work because you're the one that's in pain. You're the one that needs to go. So you're just going to have to get up and go. So you just got to understand that when you have your goals, you have your dreams, you just got to remain consistent. You just got to remain focused. You got to remain uh, disciplined. And that's not something that you do temporary, but that is something that you do on a consistent basis. That's something that you're going to be doing every day. Even after you went, when you get to your goal, you're still going to have to create different habits. You know, prior to your goals, maybe you needed to wake up at six in the morning to work on things. Maybe after when you start getting closer to your goals, you might need to wake up at five o'clock. Maybe when you get to your goal, things could be going so good. Um, you may become more interested. Now you're waking at three o'clock in the morning to work and maybe things are working so good. You may wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. So, you know, it's whatever that works for you. But what I want to share with you is that when something is not working, dare to confront yourself, dare to say that, you know what, this is not working. We got to do something about it. If you have a morning routine that's not working, let's say you wake up every morning, you go and smoke, and eventually you end up being sick and the doctor's talking to you and yada, yada. Stop the habit. You know, don't wait until it, it nearly kills you. And then for you to say, oh, yeah, you know, I got to stop the habits. If you had a bad habit of eating candy in the morning, just stop it. If it's not working, it may work for some other people, but it's not working for you. So stop it because people are doing, people will do whatever that works for them. You, you're trying to be um, accommodating. You know, you're thinking, okay, that's what they want you to do and you do it. And next thing you know, later on, when they got to take care of their business, they will move forward and they will leave you behind. So that's why it's important for you to stay focused, for you to remain consistent. Because a lot of times that's what causes frustration, resentment, because you want to sacrifice so much for other people. But when it comes to you, you merely do that. So dare to spend some time with yourself. You know, I love spending time with myself in the morning when I wake up. Just so that's how I kind of, how can I explain Um that's how I, I don't want to say calm myself down because I don't wake up, you know, hyper, but that's kind of how I get into myself. I like to spend time with myself. I like to spend time in, in meditation. You know, I like to spend time just trying to understand life, just try to see, um, to make an assessment of, you know, I don't, I don't focus on the past, but I do, um, assess it or I do evaluate what worked well. So I continue to do that and what didn't work, um, I let it be. Like for example, I used to um, you know, do a lot of exercises um in the morning. Um and eventually, you know, when I became sick, I I really wanted to to do the same thing that I used to do, but I just couldn't. No matter how much I tried, I was in too much pain. I had too many medical um, challenges that were going on, so I was not able to do so. Um, however, I find other things that work since I couldn't keep on getting up and going to jog or going to um the uh the gym or anything like that so i just take it easy i just you know you know some days i, I can write some days i can't some days um you know i can just sit in, in in silent meditation some days i may need a guided meditation you know it depends on on what's going on in your life because as i said uh, it's not a it's not a one way path it just it it is just that you have a goal and you just gotta find around the goal around 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 you. You just gotta find the right path 
to know how you can get to where you need to get. So again, don't beat on yourself. You just got to find your own routine, your own thing that works for your morning, for your night. Um, Take it one step at a time. And then eventually you got to reach your goal. If you keep consistency, if you keep your discipline, everything should go well. So I don't want to keep you too focused. I don't want to keep you stressed out. I don't want to pressure you, but I want you to process what, what, what we just discussed. Let's take a quick break. Well, hello, brothers and sisters. This is your sister, Quinn. I am back with you. So, as we were talking about the morning habits, you know, I've already told you quite a few things that you can meditate on. And um, as I said, you know, once you wake up, set your intentions, be grateful, have a routine, have a way, have a path of how you want things to be, how you want to get it done. Don't start your morning with stress, with phone calls and the news, unless it's working for you, though, unless this is part of your world, this is, you know, how you must function. But I would suggest, you know, don't start your morning with craziness, with chaos, you know, try to see, try your best if you can start it with some quietness, some time with yourself, get to know yourself Find out what's new. Maybe you, um, you're you growing in ways that you weren't even aware, you know, and ask yourself questions, you know, as you're working on your goals and to so you can get to your dreams, ask yourself, maybe what is it about my habits that's not working for my future? What is it about my path? What is it about my ways? What is it about my routine? That's not getting me closer to my goals. That's not leading me to my dreams. Because a lot of times, you know, the thing about when we make mistakes or, you know, failure, I really like to say failure because I know that when things happen, it's just another lesson that you may have missed out on the, in class, uh, in, in, in the classroom of life. And it, it comes to, to teach you again. But ask yourself, what are some habits that I need to maybe adopt so I can get to my best life, so I can get to where I need to? Or what is it, what are some 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 habits, some ways, some routine that are actually not working that I need to let go of? Sometimes it may be friends, it may be others, family that you may need to be a little bit more distant from you know, because they're not helping you to get to your dreams. They're not supporting that which you're looking for. So maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe maybe you got to stop doing something that you're doing that's not working. Maybe you got to pull up a piece of paper and find out the pros and cons about something that some things in your life that you're doing. Um... You know, it could be something about your health. It could be about smoking. It could be about drinking. It could be partying. It could be going to a certain centers. It could be going to a certain town. It could be um, someone you're seeing. It could be, it could be just about anything. You know, just question yourself. Ask yourself, are you doing what? What's going to lead you, take you to your dreams? Or are you doing things that are keeping you even more distant from your dreams? So dare to ask yourself some questions. You know, try your best to keep what, to keep your life um, less or without drama and chaos. Because these things can really be um, a distraction you know, for what you're looking for. Um, And be responsible. When things are not working out, again, ask yourself, what did I do? What can I change? 
um, what do I need to do? What, what, what is it that changed? You know, sometimes things change. It could be because of someone. Cause I remember, you know, as I said, I like my morning to be quiet and yada, 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 yada. <laughs> and, um, I remember at certain time, someone who was visiting, um, and not necessarily my home, but they were visiting, you know, my town. And it so happened that, you know, every morning they would, reach out to know, okay, can we do something? Because um, where they were, um, the people were going to work. There was not much going on. So she would call me every morning. Hey, you know, what's going on? Whatever. I, I, I don't mind a phone call, but um, but I had a certain routine. So I kind of like almost miss, well, I can say, <laughs> well, I can say that I did miss my routine for almost like for for a couple of days, almost a week, you know, and then I had to catch myself and I said, you know, something is missing. What is going on? Okay, this person needs me. Then we we just gonna have to figure out a better way, a better time, a better um, strategy to do um, what we can together. Right now, um, the way that we are going about it is not working because I'm I'm missing out. On, on things that I want to do, that I need to do, that were my consistency. And all of a sudden, they were interrupted. And if I didn't ask myself certain questions, if I didn't pay attention, I wouldn't be able to even realize that something was missing or something is going on. So when you have the things that you do, when you have your ways, you just got to keep, keep, keep alert, you know, stay alert to ensure that you're not following someone else's path. Um, because whatever the path that this person is taking will lead them to where they want to go, not where you want to go. So sometimes to get to your goals, to get your goals done or to get to your dreams, there are times that you may have to be on your path all by yourself. You know, you may have to be by yourself because people might not like the path that you're taking. If you're taking the path of health where you're constantly or regularly at the gym in the morning, early in the morning, maybe your partner or your friend, you know, that you hang with, they might not be able to help you with that because maybe they don't have a health issue. Maybe they don't have a weight issue or maybe they do, but it's just that the gym or exercise is not a priority of theirs. So that's a path that you may end up doing on your own because that's not the interest of the other people that you're with. And you got to recognize that sometimes, you know, you got to recognize that people are not just going to join your path and you're not just going to join their path. But sometimes we do get distracted and we may end up like joining their path unconsciously. And later on, we end up resenting them. We end up being mad um, because we don't understand how come something changed? How come, you know, you made the sacrifice and look at what they've done, look at how they're treating you. And, you know, you may end up being all uh, frustrated over something that you didn't have to be. So if the path is not working for you, find your own path. And even if that means that you're going to have to be alone, it's, it's your dreams. Only you can see it. No one is in your head to see your dreams. No one is in your head to see your goals, even if you share them. But you have um, a first seat. Um, you know, you 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 got the front seat. So you know exactly what it looks like. You know exactly what you will feel when you get there. So no one knows 100% what it would be like, what it would feel like, what it would look like, but only you. So only you can make those, de those decisions. So that's why it's important for you to stay in your path. Um, don't be distracted by so-called failure because you did something and it didn't work out. Don't let that be the reason why you quit. Don't use any type of failure as a reason for you to not do what you're supposed to do. Don't let it distract you. If, if something happens, something happened, but don't let it distract you. Don't let it take away your motivation, your inspiration to go where you were um, planning on going. Again, 
simple habits can make a great difference in your life. So if you have to write them down, just like a plan, just like something you put in a planner, so you know what you do, write it down, put it in your planner, put put it on your um on your calendar, find a way to put some alarms on. If you have to use technology, do so just so you could have that morning habit. Have a habit of waking up at certain time, go to bed at certain time, you know, or have the habits, even if you go to bed at 10 o'clock or at two o'clock, if you plan on waking up at six o'clock, always wake up at six o'clock. So it's just that, you know, when you have dreams, you got to make a little bit of sacrifice. You can't just sit there and keep imagining and 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 keep talking, but not taking any actions. You got to take actions. And as I said, ask yourself certain questions, you know, ask yourself when you wake up, who do I want to be today? Do I want to be an angry, upset person or do I want to be a happy, smiling individual who brings life wherever she goes, wherever he goes? What do you want to be? Who do you want to be today? How do you, how are you going to handle the day when something happens to somewhat deceive you, somewhat distract you? What are you going to do? Are you going to handle it properly? Are you going to cry? Are you going to be upset? Are you going to go low wherever, you know, other people take you throughout the day? Or are you going to remain yourself? Because the worst thing is that when you wake up with great intentions, but because you're not focused on your intentions, you end up allowing someone to take you down. So are you going to, when you wake up, are you going to set your intentions so that nothing disturb you? Or are you going to allow things to enter your space, to enter your 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 personal energy zone and allow them to take you down? You're going to allow them to permeate. You're going to allow them to enter where you are, where that's so intimate to you, where that's so private to you, and disturb your peace and happiness. No. You're going to set your intentions and you're going to do what you said you're going to do. You're going to do what you promised that you're going to do. You're going to be grateful. You're going to be glad. You're going to be happy. You're going to be peaceful. You're going to be joyous. You're going to be loving, kind, because that's who you are. That's who you plan on being. You plan on being the light everywhere that you go. And I'm not saying to try to be judgmental. I'm saying just to be the light. Just be the light. Unless you set up your your technology. When you turn on the light, the light just turns on. When you turn on the light, the light is not going to uh, turn down, you know, because you turned it on too quick. So it's not going to be as bright. No, the light will turn on when you turn it on and it'll be turned off when you turn it off. Unless there's an issue with electricity or the light is, is, is no longer good, there will be no issue. If you turn it on, it turns on. If you turn it off, it turns off. So be that way. You know, don't, don't change unless it's for the best. Don't change unless it's for something better. All right, so don't worry about anything else. As long as you focus on yourself, you will eventually get to where you need to. There are many ways, there are many paths, there are many roads, but there are only so many that can lead to where you need to go. If one door closes, another is always willing to be open. Just find that one that works for you. Just find that one door that was destined for you. Just find that one door, wherever it is, however it is, just find that door that's there for you and that's there for nobody else but you. So that's what it means to focus, to know what you want to do, what you need to do, because if you keep being distracted, it's going to keep taking time away from you. You're not going to get to where you need to.
So you stay focused. You ask yourself the questions that you need to ask yourself. You demand of yourself the best because that's what you can be. Just imagine that you have inside of you the entire universe. The one who created the universe is also inside of you. So there isn't anything that you cannot do. You have access. You have access to an entire universe. You can ask what you want. You can focus. You can you can do what you want to do. You can be who you want to be. But it requires discipline. It requires consistency. You deserve the best. Why would you not want to do your best? That's who you are already. You are the best. So stay focused. Do what you need to do. Do what you got to do. Ask for help if you need to. But don't ever quit. Don't ever quit. Because if you quit, you can't win. If you want to win, you can't quit. So you stay focused. You do what you got to do. Again, let's take a quick break. Because I don't want to get you lost. I don't want you to forget. I want you to meditate every time after we have our little conversation. This is not the only way. But this is just one way. This is just a little conversation we're having because once once you hear someone else, it it may stir something inside of you. It may cause you to be creative. It may open new doors for you. It may open up your mind to a different world, to a new perception, to a new idea. I know you can do it. I know you can. Let's take a quick break. Your sister. This is your sister, Queen. We are back. I'm back with you. Listen, the world is full of wonders, and you are no less. I believe that you can succeed. And when you believe in yourself, the same will happen. You gotta succeed. There are so many reasons we can be happy in life. But unfortunately, a lot of time we focus on the negative. So this time I want to encourage you. I want to completely encourage you to find a morning routine. Find something that works for you. Nobody else, but for you. Something that speaks to you. Something that speaks to your heart. To your heart. Um, just find yourself. Find, find, find a path. Find the roads that work for you. Find the roads that are going to lead to your success. Every time that you accept an idea, somehow the universe start to contribute, start making ways for it to happen. It starts to fulfill the minute it comes to your head. So make sure that your ideas, your mind is also consistent with your dreams, with your goals to get to your dreams. So don't contradict yourself. Don't say that, you know, you want to be this, you want to be that. And at the same token, you're saying, oh, I, I don't know if I can do it because, you know, it's expensive because, you know, it's far because, you know, it's difficult. No. If you believe that you want to be a doctor, stay with that idea. Don't say, you know, well, let me be a mechanic first. Let, let me be, let me, let me be a, a sommelier first. Um, let me be, let me go party first. No. Whatever it is that you believe that you want to do, that you want to become, don't contradict yourself. Because that's one of the biggest mistakes that we make a lot of times. When we say that we want things and then we start contradicting ourselves with the words that are coming out of our mouth. So be more strategic, have, have, um, be pragmatic, be pragmatic about your goals every day. Be pragmatic. You know, sometimes you may have to be a little bit political when people are asking you for favors that are 
again, pull you away from your own goals. Don't do it. You know, don't have that, uh, what, do you, what is it, the symptom to always want to please people. No, there's a time to please people and there's a time to please yourself. Well, right now is that time to please yourself. Um, don't be so complacent where you're going to want everything around you to be fixed. You you want things to work out, but you, you don't want to do anything about it. You just think the problem is always outside the box. The problem is always over there. It's always them. It's always this. It's always that. It's nothing. It, it, it has nothing to do with you. No. Every time that you think something is not working out in your own environment, that it may be something that somebody did to you, reassess your own self. Is it something that you said? Is it something that you did? And I don't say to beat on yourself. I'm just saying to reassess yourself to see if, if there could have been a way you could have prevented it. Don't dwell on it. Don't stay in the past. But I'm just saying when something happens and you want to move on quicker, just make a quick, quick assessment. You know, what happened? How did I get into this car accident? Oh, okay. Drunk. Okay. Okay. So now they give me tickets. So I have to do this. So now I have to just do what you have to do and move forward. Don't get stuck in the past. Don't get stuck wondering what if, you know, how come and who it's your fault. And it's, it's a waste of time and energy. All right. So I believe that you can achieve your desire, your, your desires, your goals, your, to eventually get to your dreams, but you got to believe in yourself. Even though I believe in yourself, it, it, it can only encourage you, but it doesn't really take your job. It doesn't take your role. That role is up to you. You need to make that decision to believe in yourself so things can happen, so you can have faith, even when you don't see the results that you're looking for. But the fact that you have faith, the fact that you believe in yourself, you know that eventually you can achieve it. You know you're going to get there. Don't get caught up in bad habits. Don't get caught up in bad routine. Things that are not working for you. If they don't work out, let it be. If eating breakfast at 10 o'clock is not working, you're always gassy, learn to eat at 9 o'clock, eat at 8 o'clock, or even 6 o'clock o- o- if you need to. You know, don't mistreat yourself. If something is not working, say it's not working. You know, if you go into this job, you always got to work late. You're always tired, exhausted. You can't work on your dream. Look for another job. Don't be stuck on, on things and situations that you don't have to. You're smart. You're able. You're intelligent. You can do this. And again, to get there, you got to address your morning routine. You know, how you do anything is how you do everything. You got to have that morning routine. You know, if something is not working for you, let go of it. Cut it out. Let it be. You know, if someone is driving you crazy or if you're driving somebody crazy, you know, let it be. You know, walk away. Don't let yourself be in situations that you don't have to be in. You know, um, don't hang on. Don't don't hang on to things that are not working. Don't hang on to bad habits. Don't hang on to things that you're holding dear to your heart, that you're holding dear just because, you know, but not because you can say it's working out, but you just hold on to it just because. Whatever it is that you're looking for, whatever, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, I believe um, with all my heart that it can happen. Stay positive. Um, As long as that which you want to do also is for the benefit of humanity is definitely a great cause and it will happen eventually. Um, Your life can become that masterpiece that you always dreamed of. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Make it happen. You're already a masterpiece. So let your dream be that too. Um dare to succeed. Don't be afraid. Don't let people talk in your head and cause you not to succeed. You can do it. You can succeed. Um, No matter what, just focus, just be consistent, and you will get there. And keep growing, keep learning. You know, 
um, you're also a source of inspiration. People are going to look up to you. So maintain an attitude of gratitude, you know, focus in the end because that's where you're trying to be. Um, you want to succeed? Stay away from distraction. Uh, I hope everything that I said today was helpful. Peace and love. Always, I am your sister, Queen, and I hope to see you and hear from you next time.